today. My plan is to clean up this whole area because it is a hot mess. Hot mess. And look how plain this wall is. In a month or so, it is going to be packed with passion pines. And here is a look at my chayote vine. This is my first attempt at growing this guy. Need to clean up this area as well. This is my greenhouse. Thinking about putting some um, lights there because these plants are looking a little leggy. They need more light. And this area is still pretty plain. It will be popping with peppers and tomatoes pretty soon. Oh, I forgot to show you something. So here is a Romanes broccoli. Look at that. The little itty bitty head is popping out. So I'm super stoked. And what else? Ooh, look at this guy. How beautiful is that? And then over here, I don't even know what I put in there. Beautiful loquat. And some more stuff. Check this out. This is the variegated calamondine. And look at all the new growth. It's going to be popping. Look at that. And this by far is the best looking bed that I have throughout the winter. Look at all the green. Amazing! Check out this bed. This is a three by three bed. And I have a couple of artichokes plants in there. I only planted one artichoke in here about four years ago. And since then, it's, well, it's reproduced. Jacob, what are you doing in there? Come on. What are you doing? Let's go. The Jamaican cherry is super bald still. The bananas took a hit. Whoops. And my poor jackfruit here. It's like super dead up here. But it seems to be, let's see, let's do the scratch test. Yep. Seems to still be alive, so hopefully you'll come back. Here's another look at that bed. My super lush bed from a different angle. Alrighty. This is my yellow lily koi. Seems to be doing great. And this is my mama sapote. Again, like the other tree, like the other jackfruit, um, this guy is dead on the top. But check this out. I have new growth here. And I am almost 100% sure that it will be coming back. Look at that. Here is my pineapple quince. This guy never really lost all of his leaves. And here's my lime quad. It's doing great. Let's go to the side lot here. Ah! So <clears throat> this area used to be super, super, super lush a couple years ago. And I don't know what happened. And my unknown 
lemon tree. Look at that, it's producing again. Papaya, papayas are hanging on. Oh, here's one. The top is completely dead. We're not completely dead, but the leaves are completely gone. But it looks like it's really coming back. Oh, there's actually a couple of fruits on there. So I have a passion line right there and it is growing up the tree. Doesn't that look amazing? All right. Here's another sad looking papaya tree, which I know is going to be coming back in the spring. Starfruit tree, more bananas. Back to the main garden area. So here is a look at my favorite spot in the garden. It's not as green as it used to be, but in a month, it will look super fantastic again. Here's another Moringa tree. Look at that, new growth. This is a red Malaysian guava. It's not really doing much. Um, let's see, it has like two flowers. So if this guy doesn't do something soon, it's gonna go bye-bye. Let's see. This area, this area is really sad. So, all that back there, they're all from the Moringa that I cut down last month. This guy, Ooh. that looks like it's coming back. There's an avocado tree, another low quad over there, something, two allspice. Uh, check out these tomatoes. So I plopped those guys in the ground about two weeks ago and it is taking the cold like a champ. And everything is a hot mess over there. Jacob, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? All right, let's go.